I'm going to learn. All of us here are warriors. All of us here are fighters. Our intervention team and all of the rest of the guys that work in prevention and intervention, they've been working really hard. We, we've been keeping staff since 2001. And since 2001, we've had a whopping 87 youth to leave the gang and still live to talk about it. Okay, 87. Judge Henderson, and he's going to talk to us a few words today. Please have a Juvenile crimers, specifically juveniles gravitating toward gangs. What is one of the common denominators? One of the common denominators is lack of schooling. And these issues are all interconnected. If you have a young person who leaves school at age 14, 15, and, or 16, or even younger, and if a, if a kid drops out of school and has no employable skills or no talent, of, of a specific sort, that could largely be dooming them to, even if they avoid crime, it could still be dooming them to a life of, of poverty or hardship, even under the best of circumstances. Oscar Goodman, Mayor, on behalf of the city of Las Vegas, and this is, of course, for the Building Bridges and Fighting for Peace Day from the 18th. So the proclamation from the office of Mayor Oscar B. Goodman. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the laws of the state of Nevada and the charter of the city of Las Vegas, I, Oscar B. Goodman, mayor of the great city of Las Vegas, Nevada, do hereby proclaim September 18, 2010 as Building Bridges and Fighting for Peace Day. In the city of Las Vegas, and I ask all citizens to recognize this collaboration between the Southern Nevada Community Gang Task Force and the challenge cats to bring further awareness to gang-related issues facing and affecting our community. Signed, Honorable Oscar B. Goodman, Mayor, City of Las Vegas, and Victoria Kemp will be presented with a proclamation. Congratulations so much to you. Thank you. Thank you. And the next proclamation, that, that's how uh, momentous this occasion was, with not only a proclamation from the mayor and the city, but from the entire county commission. And this one's going to be accepted by Kevin Child, who's done so much great work, and just we'll just read the first few paragraphs of it, since it's small print and it's much more lengthy than the other. And as I said, I'm no kid anymore, and haven't been for decades. <coughs> Whereas it is our policy and pleasure of the Board of County Commissions to honor and recognize those extraordinary individuals, groups, or programs which enrich the lives of many in their community, and whereas in response to a call to action by Southern Nevada Community Gang Task Force and Challenge Cats, participants will collectively come together for fighting for peace, introducing the first annual event of building bridges across our community, amateur sports tournament, and Fighting for Peace special event, which took place on September 18, 2010. And this is from the County Commission. It's signed by Chairman Rory Reed and signed by every single commissioner. Susan Bregger, Vice Chair of the County Commissioner, Commissioner Tom Collins, Commissioner June Kiliani, Commissioner Lawrence Weekly, Commissioner Larry Brown, and Commissioner Steve Sisolak. And Kevin Child is accepting and great work by all of you and Kevin. Task Force, uh, so it's a struggle trying to get together the, the uh, money to pay for the luncheon. Um, most of the folks you, you in here, some of you are here because your profession dictates it, others are here because you truly care uh, about the community and the kids in our community and, and are volunteering your time and energy to do what you can to help uh, me not be in that position where I have to make that decision. Um, and so, report uh, on how many trainings were done by Sergeant Sharp's office, how many by the parent handbook team, and we have other prevention stacks. We will be calling on you guys like we used to do. So <laughs> um, hi, my name is Kimberly Bissett. I'm 16 years old and I'm a junior at Coronado High School. Um, I've been doing Taekwondo for five years and it's been like a great experience. Um, it's kept me doing stuff like after school. It's kept me out from doing bad things. And
and um, I've made some accomplishments doing Taekwondo. Um, for the 2009 year, I made the national team, and for 2010, I also made the national team. Wow. And For the 2000 team, we want, 2019, we went to the Netherlands, wow. and for the 2010 team, we went to Spain, and in both tournaments, I made it to the quarterfinals. And um, currently, for high school, I play on the varsity so soccer team as well, so I'm planning on trying out again this year, and hopefully making it again. <laughs> so sports, I have to say because it's, it's something that I grew up with and with my family. As you can see, um, Kimberly and her father here, it takes a lot of desire and need and want to go out there and work with all of these kids in our community to get them into some type of sports, and it doesn't necessarily have to be just martial arts, it doesn't necessarily have to be just boxing, any type of sports. They can create a positive attitude and structure for a young person's life, correct? So let's give not only Kimberly a hand, but where's her dad? Stand up, dad. Let's give that a hand. 